Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Sigvaldo Grimm here and welcome to yet another episode of Roster Review. For those of you new to the series, this is where I take a look at your rosters that you submit in uh, my Discord server, in the Fix My Roster section, and I tell you what characters you should focus on and what you can improve on. Also, we haven't seen this series in a while because it performed like crap previously and constantly doing it almost got to the point of killing my channel. So from now on we are going to do the following. You'll get a new episode of Roster Review as soon as this episode will reach uh, 200 likes. Like, uh, if you want future episodes of this series and uh, you want uh, your uh, roster to be featured, submit it in the uh, Fix My Roster and like this video to get to that target so I can make the next video. It seems fair to everybody and uh, it seems fair to me. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first roster is from Dominic. Uh, Plus, I'm not gonna try to read that. I I'm not even gonna try to read that. I'm sorry. So he says, uh, uh, "Who's worst uh, boosting?" I think he means building. Like, uh, okay, yeah, the your account is at the point where I can give you advice uh, in uh, terms of uh, worth uh, while investment, uh, in terms of. Uh, Good to use but not invest in and in terms of bad. Those are the three classifiers that we'll use for our characters. First of all, a little bit more in depth into Dark Side. I know that you're happy with it because he's a legendary character and all that stuff. But the thing is Dark Side is not a legendary character that you really need to have because he's not good in raids and soul raids and that's what you are building towards. So while he's a good character, don't really invest that much into him because of the fact that he will not do much later on. Same deal with Nightmare Batman, he's good in Arena and CA, but not so much for Raids and Stories, so stop investing much into him. You don't have Kim Flan, Sakoman, and you have Atrocitus, hope you didn't get Atrocitus from the League Store, because from the League Store the first thing that you should have gotten should have been Kim Flan, Sakoman. Hope you are building towards him, and that should be your first focus when you decide to put resources into a character. And for the time being, I'm going to tell you uh, what characters are uh, good, long-term investments, and bad. Darkseid is a good character, Armor Superman is good, Grid is decent I guess, Nightmare Batman is good, Black Adam can be a long term investment but not the safest one, uh, Blade Master Robin is bad, Batman is decent, uh, Harley Quinn is bad, bad, It's he's, he's okay I guess, uh, same with her but nothing much. Deadshot, Silver Deadshot, it's okay as a support character, I guess uncreated. This guy is good as a support character, but don't put resources into him. Same, good as a support character, don't invest resources into him. Those two are bad. Those two are bad at the very least for the time being. Robin, Silver Robin can be a great combo builder, but he's two stars and your account is very early on, so you don't want to build that. Catwoman is bad, Hellboy can be pretty good, uh, John Stewart and Anthony can be pretty good, something bad. Those two are pretty bad, I guess. Uh, and uh, we got over here Atlantean Armor Aquaman is decent. Uh, Doctor Fate is good, you should constantly use him as a support character. Same deal with Bane, and other than that, don't really bother with those. We got a 4 star captain called, like, uh, he's not a long term investment, but you could make use of him to uh, grind the arena. And what I've noticed is that you don't really have many uh, arena season characters. Uh, well, the account is not that old, also, but you should really focus on the arena seasons because that's his where you will get most of your characters. So yeah, with all that being said, I hope you found this helpful and let's move on to the next one. Okay, uh, this is from Jacko Chan 69 Damn man, are you 69 years old or were you born in uh, 1969? I'm sure it's one of those two. But yeah, taking a look at this. Mm, this is a little bit weird. Am I blind or there is no Arkham Knight Batman? I don't think there is any Arkham Knight Batman on this account. You need to stop this. You really, really, really need to stop this. Like, I know, I know, you might have seen in videos Heartbreak and Harley Quinn dealing tons of damage. And you're building her and you might be like, well, mine is not dealing tons of damage because she's not built properly yet. No. It's because you don't have Arkham Knight Batman. 
in most scenarios, most scenarios, because in uh, Soul Raids there are some bosses that can be stunned without Dark Knight Batman, but in most scenarios, you're going to need Dark Knight Batman to make her function properly. And until you get Dark Knight Batman, she's actually not a good character to invest in, and you'd rather invest in to last have Joker if you want to build yourself a Liberty of Anarchy team. I, it's good that you are investing in your Kilmflan Sakoman. Blade Master Robin is most likely Ray Drop Gears. Dark Side is good where he is right now. You shouldn't really go deeper into it. Okay, so uh, you're playing for six months. Uh... Oh yeah, you're working on getting Arkham Knight Batman, but bro. I know I understand that you're working on getting Arkham Knight Batman, but you shouldn't build teams like you have Arkham Knight Batman already because that's a little bit of a waste of resources until you get him. And considering how chests are and you have no guarantee of getting him, you might as well wait for six more months until you get him. Okay, uh, so I keep upgrading Firebox, uh, tier 6 leg, you do about 3 million damage each time. You should try and do more because you have uh, Kimflan Sakoman already done over here, and he's at the point where he can, uh, at, at the very least, looking at the threat, he's at the point where he can uh, add uh, easily one shot everything in uh, uh, tier 6 raids. So you should really try and get yourself better in terms of gameplay. So in the future, I'd focus on the Kimflan Sakoman team as a priority. Drop the League of Anarchy for now, it does nothing for you until you get yourself Arkham Knight Batman. It might be useful in Soul Raids in some fights, like you do you man, but uh, you shouldn't really invest that many resources until you get Arkham Knight Batman. And you kinda got bits and scraps out of some Batman Ninja characters, out of some multiverse characters. You don't have Just League Cyborg to get going a Just League team uh, over here. What you could do is uh, try and get yourself your Silver Bench at the very least at 4 stars and start investing into her. Like that's the easiest and the safest next route to take with your account. You could invest in last half the Joker if you got like at the very least 3 out of 5 gears and use him with Entangling Poison Ivy in raids and soul raids. Not that good in soul raids but you can just swap Harley out when the boss can be stunned without having Arkham Knight Batman. But for the time being, the safest way to go, I'd say, is Silver Banshee, considering what you got yourself over here. But yeah, this was pretty much it. Uh, thank you for submitting. Okay, uh, Swampy Groot. Uh, and this is a uh, 3 months old account. 2 million 3 months, it's a decent progress, mate. Congratulations. Also, uh, this I think this is the most uh, smooth clash that I've ever seen. But yeah, just got a 2 star Silver Banshee, that's not gonna cut it. For Silver Banshee, if you want to invest into her, she needs to be at the very least 4 stars. It's better if she's 5 stars, but 4 stars will do. Uh, Kimflan Sakoman is a good investment, uh, pair him up with Shazam and Dr. Fate. And I'd rather have you invest more into Shazam rather than John Stewart Green Lantern, though you might have gotten some uh, Ray Drops for him and that's why he's very high threat. At the same time, your Just League team is pretty high up, but you don't have uh, Just League Cyborg, so maybe try get Just League Cyborg either, or stop investing into them. The thing that you could focus on next, though, is not going to be the best thing in the world, this Black Adam, since you got him at 4 stars. Like, he'll be a safe option and he will yield a decent amount of damage. He's not, he's not in the top 6 teams, but uh, you got him already and he's going to be pretty damn close to them. I guess. But yeah, there, there's not much else I can say about this account. You are, you are missing pieces from everything to really be able to uh, put together good teams. But at the same time, you seem to be focusing on the right things. But you need to get yourself a power girl from the league store. Like, stop investing into Kimflan Sakoman because it's a huge way until 5 stars. Get yourself a power girl at 4 stars and then go back to Kimflan Sakoman. Uh, and uh, other than that, uh, it's going pretty well. Invest more in Shazam, as I said. Uh, either try and get to Silver Bench to 4 stars and start building her, or uh, start building Black Adam, it's up to you. And maybe try and get uh, Just League Cyborg if you really want to use the proper Just League team. Like the Just League team you have over there, I think I've even done a video on them. It's like a budget Just League team that you can use uh, in uh, Arena because those Just League teams are. Those Just League characters come pretty often in the. Uh, 
arena seasons, but that's ne not going to be anywhere near a good team for raids and so raids. You really need just Elix Cyborg. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about this account. Progress and uh, good luck in the future. Okay. God damn it. Why everybody has Arkham Knight bad, man? <laughs> Okay, so this this is looking pretty good so far. Okay, it's good that you're investing everything into Kim Plant Sacrament. It's also very good that you got yourself a Predator or Batman, but unfortunately you don't seem to have his gears. They used to be in the arena store, they are not anymore, so you'll have to count on raid drops to get them. Also, Silver Bash is a good investment, but uh, I wouldn't really rush uh, into upgrading her for the time being. Uh, focus on your Kimflant Sacrament uh, for the most part until he reaches like 200-300k because Kimflant Sacrament is going to be the key to finishing uh, soul raids uh, at the very least the normal difficulty. In terms of your Arcanite Batman, you kind of slipped and put too many resources into him too early in the game. Don't get me wrong, he's a good character, but uh, he's not really needed uh, early on in terms of raids and solo raids. Blade Master Robin and Deadshot are two characters that I do not like, so uh, if it was up to me, I would stop using them. Same with those two over here. You got Just Like Cyborg, that's amazing actually. It's a pretty rare character to come around, so you might as well try your best. Right now, it's uh, by the time of recording this video, it's a Just League Aquaman arena season. So you should do your best to, to get Just League Aquaman, then you'll get Just League The Flash, and then you'll hopefully be able to put together a budget Just League team. Until you get Just League The Flash, right? until you get Fast Attack on them, you can use Bane as a support character. And I don't care that you don't have the, the gears for Just League Cyborg, he's going to be there just for the passive and you're going to be fine. You also have both of the power reduction characters, so you can already start uh, putting to work both the Silver Banshee and Kim Flan Sakoman. But as I said, for the time being, only invest into Kim Flan Sakoman. Next one, the noob. Okay, so this is where it starts. Well, this account looks promising already. You seem uh, to have bits and pieces of everything that you're supposed to have, actually. You got over here Just League Cyborg at 2 stars. It's a good, a good thing that you got this. Uh, it's not going to do much at 2 stars, but it's pretty easy to get at 3 stars that you can eventually get at 4 stars by League donations and by CA Shard uh, investment. And... Uh, Excuse me, I lost the page over here a little bit. And the first page is looking pretty good, like uh, keep going with the Silver Banshee and with the Kimflant Sakoman. Uh, Multiverse Supergirl, don't really invest anything into her until you got uh, yourself a Flash, a Multiverse of Flash, because uh, she's not going to do much without him. And you also got two power reduction characters, so you can already put to work both Silver Banshee and the uh, King. Uh, you could uh, put King with Shazam and Silver Banshee with Reverse Flash if your Reverse Flash is able to actually survive. But I'd rather have her with Armored Superman because Armored Superman is going to have a much higher survivability. And stop buying shards for Reverse Flash if you are doing it already since he is needed for uh, King Flint, for the Silver Banshee team. But uh, your priority is right now after you have gotten Power Girl is to get your King Flint Sakoman all the way up to... Uh, uh, 6 stars, but get Power Girl to 4 stars, first of all, the 4 star uh, power, additional power reduction that she gets is very, very important. But yeah, you're, you're doing amazing, congratulations. Okay. Okay, what teams should you be working on next? You forgot how old it is. By the way, very sexy profile picture we got ourselves over here. Everybody loves Shrek. Like, who doesn't have uh, a little spot in their heart for Shrek? So, what do we have over here? You have Heartbreaker, Harley Quinn, but you don't have... Uh, you also have Entangling Poison Ivy. You also have uh, Let's Have the Joker. And after seeing this... Uh, what you should do right now, considering that you have all three of them, even if you got like one gear on each one of them, try to get them to the point where you can 3-star every Batman Ninja challenge. 
Because if you get them to the point, I, I don't care if you're not going to use them in raids for a time being or throw raids. It's very important three star debate manager challenges because you're going to be able to get uh, three more characters that are going to be in the, all of them are going to be in the top six raid teams. So a priority on this one might be if you have some gears getting your uh, League of Arcade team able to farm the Batman uh, Ninja challenges because the sooner the better. Uh, other than that, uh, stop working on dark side. He'll do fine for the time being over there. You can pair up Flint Aquaman, which is Zam and Power Girl, of course. You can pair up Black Adam with Armored Superman uh, and uh, uh, Doctor Fate for the time being. You can start working on your Silver Banshee. Try and get her to four stars at the very least, because that's where she really starts to kind of work. Before that, she does not do that well. But yeah, this is pretty much everything I could say for this one. Stop putting a resource into dark side. He's not going to do much for you in Arena NCA. Though at the same time, you don't put many and stop putting resource into just like the Flash. Uh, he's uh, not so useful until you get yourself Cyborg or until uh, he needs to be used as a support character. And when he needs to be used as a support character, he does not need to be built. Okay, uh, this will be the last one for today, I think. Uh... Oh my god, I thought this was the continuation of this guy roster and I scrolled up and I'm not going to give this man false hope. We are going to also take a look at Liquid Soap, keeping us all safe during this quarantine time. Amazing stuff, mate. So, first of all, uh, Gelatine. This is Gelatine Liquid Soap, so many household items. What? You got a 3 star Black Manta over here. Joke's on you, you don't have the gears, am I right? I'm going to be straightforward with you. You are either going to pay the the five, the five, 10 bucks from the special offers to get the Black Manta gears. And if you do that, it's going to be fine. He's a great character. Or you're going to not build him or not build him for a very long time. Because the other way to get his gears is going to be from the Black Manta power-up chest or something like that. And you're going to get like a 15% chance to get one of his gears and you can get duplicates. And that's like 400 or 450 gems. And if you're going to buy that chest from this point until you get all his gears or at the very least 4 gears. That will screw up your account because it's going to waste up all your gems for a very very long time. But getting back to it, stop investing into Arkham Knight Batman if you are, though it most likely is was raid drops. What? This is from the raid, this is from the solo raid drops. This 5 star Just League Cyborg is from the solo raid drops. God damn it, man, you're so lucky. God damn it. And by the way, somebody commented like uh, to uh, leave alone the name of God or something like that. I'm just saying, God damn it, lies a figure of speech. Uh, it's not really related to God or any God or your God. So chill about that. I mean, no offense, but get back to it. You got yourself a Just League Cyborg at five stars. That's amazing, mate. That's going to be an amazing passive. What you're going to do after watching this video is go into Arena and farm your ass off. Because if you farm your ass off, you'll get yourself a, 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 a Just League Aquaman that will be 4 stars. And you'll have his gears in the Arena store. You get your Just League Aquaman, you build him and you build a Flash, use Just League Cyborg as a support character, and BAM! You've got an amazing team! Bro, you're so lucky to have four, uh, 5 stars Just League Cyborg. You don't need his gears, he's there just as a support character. Kim Flan Sakoman goes with Power Girl and Shazam, uh, of course. Other than that, nothing very interesting around here. You could invest into Black Manta if you decide to buy his gears. Like, he's a pretty decent character. He's a pretty good. He's maybe the best character, if you ask me. But uh, he'll not perform as good as you'd expect at 3 stars. I mean, it's just 3 stars at the end of the day. Uh, and characters usually perform well at 4 stars, but at 3 stars I think you could still reach like uh, 10 million damage with him. But uh, considering a level 60 gears or something like that, by the way. So yeah, don't have huge expectations, but still he's not going to let you down. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this account. Farm your ass off to get uh, yourself uh, Just League Aquaman and put him with those two. Because having Just League Cyber at 5 stars is amazing. Stop with uh, Nightmare Batman, uh, stop with Reverse the Flash until you get yourself a Silver Banshee, and yeah, invest into the Justice League team next, because 5 star Justice League Cyborg, I'm gonna say it like the 5th time already, it's insane, congratulations.
Oh, and this is one month and one week old. That's amazing, mate. That, that's a lot of shred, mate. Congratulations. And the last one is going to be... Uh, uh, arena teams, raid teams, uh, just finished soul raid normal mode, got 6 star fire star, oh my god. Sucks. 63 days old account, uh... Okay, top, uh, okay, so that you're, you're doing well in terms of raids, you have a chance for artifacts. Still hoping save value is making a roster review, suiciding Pepe. I am making a roster review and you've posted uh, it. Uh, actually, oh my god, do I have to do one more? No, I thought... Uh, no, he was just giving advice to the other people. I thought uh, I was reading something that, um, uh, that, that he said about his roster. I'm not going to do one more. I kind of spoiled this one, but I'm sorry, mate. It's enough for a video. But I'll do more, you just have to uh, do that uh, amount of likes that I said at the beginning of the video. I've even forgotten how many I said it was 200 or 150. Uh, but yeah, getting back to this. Get yourself the King of Land Sacrament team going. We can also uh, work on Black Adam paired up with Armored Superman and Doctor Fate of course. Silver Banshee just 2 stars, don't really bother with her. Yeah, other than that, it's pretty much uh, trash all over the place. Though so this guy is a good support character, just keep that in mind. Don't upgrade, or don't upgrade, don't upgrade him or something. But he just keep in mind the fact that he's a good support character. But other than that, there's not that much you can do, I suppose, for Nightwing. You don't have the gears. He just is in Nightwing uh, Infinite Combo. But yeah, for now, really, your only two options are the King Flint Sacrament team and the Black Adam team. I can't see how high threat the Yorkian Flint Sacrament team is, but I suppose he's pretty high threat. Try and get yourself uh, a Silver Banshee premium chest when they come out and get her to have at least 4 stars so she becomes usable. Excuse me. You can kind of put together a scrappy multiverse team from Black Lightning, Multiverse, Supergirl and Captain Cold to use in Arena, it will do fine. In terms of raids, it will do decently, I guess, but not so good. But yeah, other than that, this is pretty much it for this one. Thank you for submitting, thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next episode of Roster Review.